Hello everyone, this is Lucia from My Hiding Place, bringing you a word which was originally published on May 21st, 2023. However, due to its faulty audio, I'm redoing it for those of you who may have missed it. Thank you for your patience. The Army from the North Dear brothers and sisters, I come before you this evening with an urgent word from Father. I will transcribe it here as accurately as possible in the order it was given to me. It's been a few days in the making, getting all the pieces together. Please pray over this word for confirmation and understanding. On May 17, 2023, while I was in my secret place, the Holy Spirit directed me to Jeremiah 21. This chapter is about King Zedekiah, who had heard numerous times through Jeremiah that King Nebuchadnezzar was going to come and lay siege to his city and burn the temple. But of course he paid no mind, until one day King Nebuchadnezzar showed up, and there was no more denying it. In this chapter, Zedekiah asked Jeremiah, to please inquire of Yah to see if he would perform some great miracle for him as in times past. But that day he found out time had run out and the judgment was final. These verses really jumped out at me. Jeremiah 21 verses 4a and 5 Thus saith Yah, Behold, I will turn back the weapons of war that are in your hands, and I myself will fight against you with an outstretched hand and with a strong arm, even in anger and in fury and in great wrath. So I asked Father, to whom did this chapter refer to at this time? Which are the nations that don't believe the sword is coming their way? and who will learn the hard way. He answered me saying that it refers to the proudful nations that have not understood that Russia is his weapon of indignation. Those countries who tell themselves that whatever happened to Ukraine will never happen to them, or that if Russia ever came and attacked them, that they'll know how to defend themselves. This is not a personal matter between Russia and NATO. What we need to understand is that these nations have failed to see that their conduct is anything but godly and that they have raised Father's anger to the point that he has determined that Russia is to be one of the weapons of his choice to bring about swift judgment. This is not to elevate Russia as a better nation or a godly nation. This is simply what Father has decided in his sovereignty. He said that if these nations would only come to him and acknowledge their sins, their backsliding, if only they would repent, that these judgments could be averted, but they will not. These nations are like pigs who love to wallow in their own mud, dogs who love to return to their vomit. He said that their pride is what he is leading them to deliver more supplies abroad, and the same will be turned around and aimed at them, for he will fight against them and prevail. For what else can a righteous God do? Jeremiah 21.8 and unto this people thou shalt say, Thus saith Yah, Behold, I set before you the way of life and the way of death. Then the Holy Spirit reminded me of a dream I had a while back, in which I saw a long conveyor belt. It started at one end of infinity and ended at the opposite side of infinity. This conveyor belt was littered with medical bandages, the kind used to wrap wounds. They were covered in blood. 
I was ducked underneath this conveyor belt because all around me I could hear weapons going off. Needless to say, it was very dangerous trying to make a run from where I was or even try to figure out which direction to go. So I did the only thing that could be done. I prayed to Yah to cover me and take me out of there safely. The next thing that happened was that I, f I was literally removed, teleported from that environment into another. There were a couple more parts to the dream, but this was the piece that the Holy Spirit brought to my attention for this word. So I will omit the rest for now. Many nations look at Ukraine thinking, Oh, poor them, not realizing that soon that will be their reality. The king from the north is coming. Please note that he is not coming to execute his own desires, but father's. In other words, it is Yah's desire for him to come after these abominable nations, after the country from the north will have served its purpose, it will, at its appointed time, receive its own punishment. Rima, will you cry out to me on the day of your demise, on the day when my hand of judgment will visit you? Or will your heart be found proud and resist my discipline? Therefore I am setting before you the way of life and death, Choose wisely and repent. Next, the Holy Spirit reminded me of another dream I had, in which I looked up at the sky and noticed a myriad of paratroopers. They were shown to me as black silhouettes. What struck me about this dream was the amount of paratroopers I saw and how they seemed to appear out of nowhere. On March 13, 2023, I recorded in my notebook that I had received several dreams about warplanes flying overhead. Another common occurrence in these dreams was the swarm of military personnel I saw flooding the cities, carrying weapons to be used against ordinary people to keep them in submission. The one word that kept coming back to me about those dreams was suddenly. I kept taking notice of how sudden this change took place. One moment everything was calm and the next everything had changed, turned upside down. One moment things were normal, the next paratroopers appeared out of nowhere or military filled the streets. While in prayer on the same evening, Father was strongly laying on my heart that he is going to bring a huge shaking to the world. I felt people going into a state of shock. Then I saw the spirit of despair grabbing people's necks. People put their arms up, having their backs to the walls, shaking their heads, their hearts crying out. Oh no, what do I do? How am I going to get out of this mess? Then I saw a helicopter flying overhead, letting down a rope to a man who was standing in the middle of disaster. Father was impressing upon me that the rope is Yeshua, and that if you grab a hold of him, he will lift you to safety. But those who will tell themselves that these circumstances are just passing storms and that if they hang in there a little longer that everything will resolve itself will perish. I felt Father's heart as he was sending out his last warnings. They came out as pleas to come to him, to grab a hold of his hand, grab a hold of the hem of his garment. I felt that Father was about to come down to earth to visit it, to assess its condition in person, to see if everything that his people have reported in their prayers is true. And then he was going to hand out the just recompense depending on what had been done. 
Jeremiah 21.10 For I have set my face against this city for evil and not for good, saith Yah. It shall be given into the hand of the king of the north, and he shall burn it with fire. Therefore, Father invites us to administer justice every morning, rescue from the hand of his oppressor the one who has been robbed, so that his wrath will not break forth against us because of the evil we have done. Behold, I am, I am against you who say, Who can come against us? Who can enter our refuge? I will punish you as your deeds deserve, declares Yah. Quick note given to me on May 9, 2023, regarding those who live in America and are hating those who are entering through their southern border. Remember that one day you will hate those walls you have built to keep you safe. The day will come when you will need to escape from the hands of your own masters, and those same walls will work against you. The time will come when those who have hated those Mexicans who are seeking refuge in America will run to seek refuge in Mexico and will loathe themselves for the evil they have harbored in their hearts. Amos 9, 1 and 9 I saw Yah standing upon the altar, and he said, Smite the lintel of the door, that the posts may shake, and cut them in the head, all of them, and I will slay the last of them with the sword. He that fleeth of them shall not flee away, and he that escapeth of them shall not be delivered. For lo, I will command, and I will sift the house of Israel among all nations. Like as corn is sifted in a sieve, yet shall not the least grain fall upon the earth. Psalm 14, 1-3 The fools had said in his heart, there is no God. They are corrupt. They have done abominable works. There is none that doeth good. Yah looketh down from heaven upon the children of men to see if there were any that did understand and seek Elohim. They are all gone aside. They are all together become filthy. There is none that doeth good. No, not one. Jeremiah 19.15 Thus saith Yah, the Elohim of Israel, Behold, I will bring upon this city and upon all her towns all the evil that I have pronounced against it, because they have hardened their necks that they might not hear my words. Ezekiel 6.1-10 And the word of Yah came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face toward the mountains of Israel, and prophesy against them, and say, Ye mountains of Israel, hear the word of Yah, your Elohim. Thus saith Yah, your Elohim, to the mountains and to the hills, to the rivers and to the valleys. Behold, I, even I, will bring a sword upon you, and I will destroy your high places, and your altars shall be desolate, and your images shall be broken, and I will cast down your slain men before your idols, and I will lay the dead carcasses of the children of Israel before their idols, and I will scatter your bones round about your altars. In all your dwelling places the cities shall be laid waste, and the high places shall be desolate, that your altars may be laid waste and made desolate, and your idols may be broken and seized, and your images may be cut down, and your works may be abolished. And the slain shall fall in the midst of you, and he shall know that I am Yah. Yet will I leave a remnant, 
that he may have some that shall escape the sword among the nations, when he shall be scattered through the countries. And they that escape of you shall remember me among the nations, whither they shall be carried captives, because I am broken with their whorish heart, which had departed from me, and with their eyes, which go a-whoring after their idols, and they shall loathe themselves for the evils which they have committed in all their abominations. And they shall know that I am Yah, and that I have not said in vain that I would do this evil unto them.